f at u r right so this is u l this is u r now this behavior is what we captured in the upwinding scheme right we bias the f towards either u of f of u l or f of u r depending on which side the shock wave is moving so what we actually didn't capture is the case over here so the case over here also has several possible scenarios actually it has more than two scenarios let's look at them this case has more than two scenarios because in this case is the discontinuity going to be staying or it's no longer going to be any discontinuity no longer right because the characteristic on the left is moving slower than on the right it's like the the the, the two solutions are pulling away from each other okay so so it'll become a fan pretty much instantaneously now there are three ways you can become a fan you can become a fan while moving while the entire fan is moving towards the right which after a little bit you have a fan like that case one right okay case two is when you have a fan but the left of the fan is moving towards the left while right of the fan is moving towards the right so you have a fan like that so this is case two and case three the entirety of the fan is moving towards the left all right is this three cases clear and let's look at case three first what is the flux what is the flux for case three again this is my ul and this is my ur for case three what is the flux at x zero at the original location of the discontinuity after some time hmm? sorry zero what Huh? You f of u r, right? Because the green solution here is u r, and uh, for uh, the the case one is the uh, also pretty easy because for case one the entire thing is moving towards the right and uh, the f is f of u l. The only tricky case is here is case two. In case two, that's exactly the case we have been talking about right the fan is spreading on both sides of this discontinuity and what determines this point what determines what the value of the solution is at the original location of the discontinuity what's special about this point Why is everything above it moved towards the right? Everything below it moved towards the left? Why? Because of... It's where DFU changes sign. Yes, when DFU changes sign. Remember, DFU is a function of U. Right here, we are stepping along the discontinuity in X, but we can move, when we move upwards, we are moving continuously in the space of U. So D after U, as I move upward, would be increasing. In this blue case, it actually would increase from a negative sign to a positive sign. So when D after U is negative, the solution would be moving towards the left. When DFDU is positive, the solution would be moving towards the right. At this point, this point is the U for which DFDU is equal to zero. That's what's special about this point. All right. So the flux in this case would be the flux at the U that makes DFDU equal to zero right what is it what is the value of the function at 
the point where the variable has zero slope. Huh? It should be zero, but only for this particular function. You are right. I mean, if I look at, if I if I solve for a function. Okay, so let, let me actually draw it for a generic function, not just the for, uh, not for Burgess equation. So if I have u, this is uh, f. Can you identify what are the points where df du is equal to zero? Okay, this point, right, dfdu is probably zero. This point, dfdu is zero. This point, dfdu is zero. This point, this, this point, this point. They are all, what? Local extremus, right? Either local maximum or local minimum of the function. And what's more, it cannot be both the local minimum and maximum because what I need is that as u is increasing, my dfdu would become positive. When u becomes less, my dfdu would be negative. So dfdu is the slope, right? So it can only be these kind of points. It cannot be local maximus. If it's a local maximum, then dfdu would actually decrease as I move upward. And we will never have a fan. We will maintain a discontinuity. We'll have the upper case as opposed to the lower case. So I cannot be here, I can only be here, or here, I cannot be here, I can be here, right? So here, okay, is instead of writing this complicated thing, I can just write as a minimum of f of u, where u is in between the interval ul and ur. So it's the minimum f within this interval. That's what's special about the value of u that is staying here, that doesn't move. And that is, that is consistent with the fact that my flux should be zero, right, when my I have a Burgess equation where my left value is minus 1, my right value is plus 1. Does it make sense? Okay. So, this is a special case we didn't consider in the upwinding scheme. But this is not just a special case. Okay. Actually, all the other cases are actually special cases of this particular form, right? So all these cases, remember, like for this, uh, for, for this when, when we say when the solution is moving towards the right, it means the characteristics of the whole interval is positive, right? DFU is all positive in this entire interval. That means... My function f is monotonically increasing over the interval. So taking the f to be f at ul is basically taking the minimum of f inside this range. So all the three cases, if you also look at the case, it means the, the solution is mon uh, the f is monotonically decreasing in this range. And we take the right value by taking the minimum. So my f is minimum of f of u for u inside ul, ur, always, okay? So this is the correct flux when the left value is less than the right value. How about this case? In this case, are we also taking the minimum? When the shock is moving towards the right, okay, that means my UL have a characteristic larger than UR, right? And the function would be what? The flux function would be. Uh, 
if things move towards the right, the flux function is increasing in general, right? Because the slope is positive. And uh, when I'm taking the left, I'm actually taking the maximum. So in this case, is when I'm taking the maximum of f for u in ur and ul. So basically, the physical flux, the solution to the Riemann problem, is that f should be minimum of f if ul is less than ur and max of f if u uh, if if ul is greater than ur when they are equal there is only single value to take right f of u <coughs> 